Today we're taking a look at the Automatic Serena Shades by Lutron. I picked up the Blackout Honeycomb Shades and I want to show you what the experience was like getting them installed and how to control them with the remote and through the app. So let's get started. So if you're looking to black out your room, whether you have a media room or maybe you work a night job and you sleep during the day and just want some black out shades, something that's a little bit cooler than just those pull down ones that you can automate in your house, then these are gonna be something worth considering. Now in full disclosure, Lutron did reach out to me and sent me these shades that I will be demoing in this video, but I will be giving my honest review on what I actually think about them. And I'll start off by saying with these being some of the best shades out there, they're definitely not cheap. I understand that these are pretty expensive shades and it's gonna depend on the size windows that you have. I mean, you can go full blown and get an entire sliding glass or window covered up if you wanted to, but it's gonna be pretty expensive. What I got in today's video is that I got the Honeycomb Blackout Shades. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. I also wanna thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. It helps out a lot and helps keeps this channel running. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are at the Serena by Lutron website. I'm gonna go ahead and click on products, which we have loaded up right here and it's gonna show us the different options for their shades. So we've got roller shades, we've got smart wood blinds, and then at the bottom here we have the honeycomb shades. Now, because I want it as dark as possible for my scenario, I wanted to go with the honeycomb shades and I chose their blackout. Going through the rest of the steps is gonna be pretty straightforward. You're essentially gonna pick what you want. I measured my window, which was exactly 34 inches by 58 inches. I want my shades to be inset into the window and not outside of the window because I want it to be nice and dark. You're then gonna pick your power source. You can go battery powered. You can either plug it in or actually do no power source and do it manually where you use your hand to bring it up and down. That's gonna be for the honeycomb. You can then pick the color shades that you want and if you want a remote or not. Now, luckily for me, I've got two windows in here. They are both the exact same size. So I can just go ahead and say, I wanna place an order for two of these and it's going to automatically update my cart. And we'll go ahead and place this order. And next I'll show you once they arrive, what comes in the box and then we'll get them installed. Okay, so the boxes have arrived. I've got both shades in one box. This is gonna be the big main box here. Opening it up, pretty straightforward. We've got two of the shades in here. We've also got those two black back covers. They're gonna go up on the top. And then we've got bags for the mounting brackets. And I'm gonna show you guys in a second the best way to put up these mounting brackets. So getting started, I needed to remove the old set of blinds that I had, got rid of those. And then to put up this top black cover, they give you double-sided sticky tapes. So you're actually able to stick it up to the ceiling and hold it in place. This way you can put your brackets in a place that you want to. I took a Sharpie to mark the holes that I needed to, and then I just drilled the holes in from there. It says to place the brackets about two inches in from the side of the wall. I did a little bit more than that in mine, but didn't really seem to hurt it at all. Now, as I was mounting my brackets and pre-drilling my holes, the grip of my power drill was actually digging holes into that back top cover. If you see here, my drill was kind of chewing away at the bottom, which looks bad, but in reality, this is all gonna get covered anyway by the shades, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, when I was reading the instructions, it shows that when you are placing that top back cover, if these shades are more than 21 inches, to slightly keep them away from the window. So when I put up my first shade, I did leave about a quarter inch gap between the actual top cover and the frame of the window. I got everything set up and installed, but with it not being right up against the frame of the window, I noticed that it was letting some light in on the side. So with the second window, I pushed it all the way up against the frame and mounted it that way. Now, one thing with the mount is that as you're putting in these brackets, there is gonna be a button that you're gonna push on the top that's actually going to allow the bracket to come forward. This is gonna help you to install it a lot easier and then you're gonna click it into place. 
This clip design is going to allow you to drop the shades down to replace the batteries without actually having to take the shades down. Now I did notice the one that I pushed all the way up against the frame and mounted it, there was less light leaking in on the sides. And another thing that I wanted to mention is the actual size of these shades. So the size of my window is pretty much exactly 34 inches. And we saw on the website, I put in 34 inches. When I got these shades, I noticed that there is actually a gap on either side. When I measured the shades, even though I ordered 34 inches, it actually came in at about 33 and a half inches. So it did leave some extra gap in there. So do keep that in mind that there is going to be a slight difference from what you ordered or what you think you're ordering to what they're actually sending you. All right, now that we have these blackout shades installed, let's take a look at them and see how much light they actually keep out. All right, here is a straight on shot of the windows with it closed. You can see the small gaps on each side. It is letting in a little bit of light, but I gotta say it's not really bad at all. I do have my windows on the other side of the room opened up just to get a little bit of light in here, which is why you see obviously some light coming in from the left-hand side. But let's go ahead and open these up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so that is them all the way up. Let's go ahead and bring them back down. Alright, and that is what they look like all the way down. This is the single cell blackout shade and there is no light whatsoever coming through the shades at all. Only a little bit of light leak on either side. Just give you a closer look about what these things look like. Let's see if we can get a view there. So this is the honeycomb shade. So what it looks like, so obviously blacked out on the outside. And then we have the white that I got on the inside here. We do an accordion style. So they'll go up looking like that. And that is what it looks like all the way up to the top. It gets a little wider up there. Now with the remote I have here, you can control up to four different scenarios of the shade. I've got mine set up to where, let's see if we can focus on this. I've got mine to set up, so shade one is obviously shade one here, and then we've got shade two here. Uh, number three is gonna be both of them together. Shade four is also both of them together because I only have two, or you can just hit all, so that's gonna select all. And uh, we can go ahead and just open, and it's gonna fully open these, we can also if I want to stop it, we can do up and down here. So holding down is gonna control both of them together because we have them all selected. If I want, I could just say, I want shade one now, and I could just bring shade one up here too. And I can control that one individually. Um, if we control them and they are offset, and then I go back to all and we go to open, they're gonna just stay at their same level. They're not gonna match up here, but that is what they look like. Once they get all the way to the top, they both will open up all the way. So you're gonna see there, and then essentially they're going to reset back to the same level. All right, so they're both all the way up and then they'll both all come down together. So that is how the shades are set up. And you can hear, let's get a little bit closer so you can hear. They are quite quiet. I mean, it's obviously noticeable enough being in the same room, I can hear them, but if I were to have music on or a TV on, I probably wouldn't be able to hear them at all. That is how quiet they are. And I gotta say, these things are really nice. I do like them a lot. So that's the light leak on the other one uh, being in front of it. So if you were slightly to the side, you kind of don't see it as much. If I were to get centered here. But anyway, that is what they look and sound like. Okay, so here is what the app looks like. I already have my shades loaded up here, so you can control the shades individually. That's gonna be open, the bottom one's gonna be closed, you can adjust them there or set a favorite setting right here, or you can edit. So if we tap on edit, it's going to allow us to change the room that it's in, it's going to allow us to set shade limits. So if for some reason you don't want to shade to go all the way down to the bottom, you can set your limits right there. So we've got open and close limits. Those are pretty easy to set up and save. 
backing out of there, you can also go in and um, tap on here and it's gonna control all of them. So we've got all open or all closed um, in there, pretty easy to do. Also in the app, you can set up different scenes if you wanna set up some automations or you can set up scheduling. So I have at sunrise, my shades are gonna to go to 50%. So I, I ended up putting shades 50, so I know 50%. At 8.30 a.m., they're gonna rise all the way up. So they're gonna raise up to 100%. And then at sunset, I have got my shades closing. So these are all automated things that I can do. And I can even tap on the play button right here to automate it. So right now, I do have my shades going down to 50%. But setting up scenes, schedules, lots of cool things that you can do in the app here. Now, in addition to their own app, they also integrate with a ton of other smart home apps. If we take a look at their website, they integrate in with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Sonos, works with smart things. We've also got Caseta, which is another brand by Lutron. We've got Apple's HomeKit you can integrate these into, Carrier, Ecobee, Honeywell, Logitech, Lutron, Xfinity Home, you know, back to Alexa. There are so many different things you can integrate this with. I've integrated it into my Amazon Alexa. And what that allows me to do is set up different routines that work with say these shades and other devices. So say I've already got a motion sensor, I can use that motion sensor to say, open up the blinds and close them uh, different times a day, you know, when it detects motion, different things like that. So yes, you are paying a premium price for these products right here, but you're also getting a premium product. I mean, if you were to buy anything Apple, their phone, their iPad, their laptops, you pay a premium price for that stuff, but in return, you know you're getting a good quality product. This company has been around for a long time and also well known for their quality. The problem that I've had with ordering cheaper products is that not long down the road, they either get damaged or break and you have to replace them anyway. So if you're willing to invest in some automatic shades, these are definitely ones that I recommend checking out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you make an informed decision on if these are the right shades for you. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, check out the link below. I will be eternally grateful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.